Picture this. You're unboxing a MacBook Air that's $100 cheaper than last year's model, rocks a jaw-dropping sky blue finish, and, get this, lets you run two external monitors at once while crushing your creative projects like never before. That's the M4 MacBook Air, and Apple's betting it'll blow your mind. But here's the catch. Is it the game-changing upgrade you need, or a shiny trap to drain your wallet? In this video, we're tearing apart the M3 and M4, spec by spec, test by test, to reveal which one's worth your money and which one you'll regret skipping. Don't even think about buying until you watch this. You could save hundreds or miss the deal of a lifetime. When Apple announces a new laptop, questions always follow. Does it really matter? For the MacBook Air M4, the most surprising part isn't a flashy spec bump. It's the starting price. At $999 for the base configuration, Apple has undercut last year's M3 by $100, even though you're getting a faster chip, better battery efficiency, and that eye-catching new sky blue option. But first, let's talk looks, because Apple knows style sells. Pull it out of the box and you'd be forgiven for thinking nothing's changed. Both M3 and M4 Airs cling to the same ultra-thin 13.6-inch chassis forged from 100% recycled aluminum, tipping the scales at just under 2.7 pounds. It's that perfect blend of featherlight portability and rock-solid premium feel. The real twist? Sky blue. Alongside midnight starlight and silver, the new finish injects a playful pop of color that practically screams, look at me. It's subtle enough for professionals, fun enough for students, and proof that sometimes the smallest change makes the biggest impression. Underneath, though, the real story is just heating up. You won't find a brighter, sharper screen here. Apple stuck with the same 500 Nit liquid retina panel, complete with P3 wide color and true tone, so everything from spreadsheets to sunsets looks vivid. But unlike the M3, which only ever supported a single external display with the lid open, the M4 finally lets you hook up two monitors at once without folding down your laptop. For anyone juggling code windows, photo libraries, or live stream dashboards, that's a game changer. Yet it's what's powering that multi-screen magic that matters. Inside the M3, you had an 8-core CPU paired with an 8-core GPU, plenty for everyday apps and even some light video editing. The M4 ups the ante with a 10-core CPU, the same 8-core GPU on a 3-nanometer process. Translation, up to 20% faster performance in creative apps, smoother frame rates in casual games, and snappier responsiveness when you've got a half dozen browser tabs open. Whether you're transcoding footage for YouTube or whipping up a batch of AI-generated art, the M4 feels like it's always one step ahead. It even stays cooler under pressure. Newer silicon isn't just about brute speed, it's about efficiency. Thanks to that second-generation 3-nanometer architecture, the M4 runs cooler, with less thermal throttling when you push it hard. You'll notice fewer fan speed spikes during big exports and sustained peak performance even after half an hour of exporting 4K video. So, whether you're rendering effects in Final Cut Pro or compiling massive code bases, the M4 keeps its composure. And while it's keeping its cool, it's also saving power. Both the M3 and M4 promise stellar endurance boasting up to 18 hours of video playback on a single charge. In real-world tests, though, the M4 stretches that to about 19 hours, an extra hour of Netflix, Zoom, or marathon note-taking. It's the kind of margin that turns, will this last class, into, will I even notice the battery dropping? For globe-trotting students or road warrior pros, that little bit extra adds up fast. Ports and connectivity deserve a closer look next. Neither model is crowded with jacks, but what's here works beautifully. Two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports for charging, data, and displays, a MagSafe 3 connector that clicks in place, and a 3.5mm headphone jack for headphones or mics. The M4 tags on Wi-Fi 6E, though, which can unlock faster, more reliable wireless if your router supports it, ideal for congested dorms or busy home offices. So, if you stream, video conference, or game on Wi-Fi, the M4 can give you that extra breathing room. All this hardware comes at a surprisingly low ticket price. Here's the clincher. The M4 base model, 10-core CPU, 8-core GPU, 16GB RAM, 256GB SSD, 
starts at $999, while the M3 launched at $1,099. That $100 drop is almost unheard of for Apple, and yet retailers are already discounting leftover M3 stock, pushing some configurations into the $899 to $949 range. So if you don't care about dual external displays, Wi-Fi 6E, or that extra CPU power, the M3 deal could be too tempting to pass up. Which begs the question, who should actually upgrade? Let's break it down. You're a casual user whose day revolves around browsing, streaming, document editing, and email. The M3 already blazes through those tasks with zero hiccups. If your workload rarely bumps CPU or GPU usage past 10 to 20%, you won't notice much difference in daily snappiness or battery life. And if you're happy in classic shades like silver or space gray, the M4's perks won't move the needle. In that case, hanging on to an M3 or grabbing a discounted one makes perfect sense. But if you're craving more muscle, here's why you might pull the trigger. Your workflow includes photo or video editing, music production, or any creative app that loves extra cores. You need two external monitors open side by side. You live in a Wi-Fi 6E environment and want the fastest possible connectivity. Or you're still on an M1, M2, or Intel MacBook and haven't upgraded in a few years. For all of those users, the M4 delivers tangible, day-to-day -day improvements, plus that playful sky blue finish for a dash of style. Still on the fence? Here's the final verdict. Thanks for joining us as we compared the M3 and M4 MacBook Airs. To wrap things up, the M4 stands out with its sleek sky blue option, boosted performance for creative tasks, and dual monitor support, all at a lower starting price than the M3. If you're a casual user, the discounted M3 is still a fantastic pick, but if you crave that extra power or the latest features, the M4 might just be your next upgrade. Still deciding? Check the links in the description for the best deals on both models. You could save big or unlock your perfect productivity machine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech breakdowns like this. Drop a comment below. Which MacBook Air are you leaning towards and why? Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.